Hey, what is up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan and today we are gonna perform stoichiometric calculation. Stoichiometry. As always, let's break that down a little bit. The first thing we're gonna do is define stoichiometry. It sounds like a very devastating word, but it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, two, we're gonna write what are known as mole ratios that relate two substances in a chemical equation. And then three, we're gonna use those mole ratios to calculate the amount in moles of any product or reactant in a chemical equation using dimensional analysis. So first things first, what the heck is stoichiometry? Uh, it's simply the study of the relationships between reactants and products in a chemical reaction. So how much of one thing do you have compared to how much of something else? Or if you start with a certain amount of reactants, how much product would you get? Or if you wanted a certain amount of product, how much reactant should you start with? Now, to introduce this idea of stoichiometry, we're gonna take a look at sandwiches. Who doesn't love sandwiches? We're gonna start by taking two slices of bread and one piece of cheese, and we're gonna make one sandwich. So, as you think about stoichiometry, again, it's just a study of the relationship between your reactants, in this case, bread and cheese, and your products, in this case, a sandwich. Essentially, stoichiometry is very much like reading a recipe. And if you wanted to say double your recipe, have your recipe or triple your recipe, how would that affect your reactants or your products? How would that affect your ingredients and what you're trying to make? So if I were to follow my recipe directly as it's outlined here, I would need two slices of bread, one slice of cheese, and I would make one complete sandwich. But let's say I wanted to double my number of sandwiches. I wanted to make two sandwiches. Well, in order to make two sandwiches, I need to have four slices of bread and two slices of cheese. Or let's say I wanted to triple it. Really hungry, three cheese sandwiches. I want now six slices of bread and three slices of cheese in order to make three sandwiches. Mm. Now the big takeaway here and really the understanding of stoichiometry is just looking at the relationship of your reactants and your products. In this equation, recognize that for every one sandwich I wanna make, I need one piece of cheese and two pieces of bread. In other words, for however many sandwiches I wanna make, I need twice the amount of bread. But however many sandwiches I wanna make, I need the exact same number of pieces of cheese. That, in a nutshell, is what stoichiometry is all about. Just comparing how much of your reactants do you have to how much of your products. Now, there are a couple important things to keep in mind when you're doing stoichiometry calculations. One, your equation that you're working with has to be balanced. Conservation of mass. Two, the coefficients in your chemical equation can describe individual molecules, but more importantly and more practically, they will describe amounts in moles of both your products and your reactants. So as you take a look at your notes, you're asked to come up with the number of moles of hydrogen, number of moles of oxygen, and number of moles of water in the reaction that's described in order to make water from its elements. As you look at the coefficients, we recognize that we need two molecules or two moles of hydrogen, one molecule or one mole of oxygen in order to make two molecules or two moles of water. Now, once you know the relationship in terms of the number of moles of your reactants and products based on your, chemi your balanced chemical equation, you can write what are known as mole ratios or the relationships between the reactants and the products in your chemical equation. We can use those then to write what are known as conversion factors that relate the amounts in moles of any two of the substances involved in a chemical reaction. So as I go back to my equation that represents the formation of water from its elements, a possible conversion factor that I could write from the mole ratio in this equation would be something like two moles of hydrogen to one mole of oxygen. Or I could write two moles of hydrogen to two moles of water. These are your mole ratios that give you the comparisons between two different things in your chemical equation. Again, go back to the idea of the sandwiches. 
this is my recipe for making water. For every two moles of water that I want to make, I need two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen. But let's say I'm really hungry for some water and I want four moles of water. I'm gonna need four moles of hydrogen and two moles of oxygen. Recognize that the relationship between your hydrogen and your water always gonna come back to that two to two or one to one relationship. So if I have four moles, of hydrogen, I can make four moles of water, assuming that I have enough oxygen. Similarly, the relationship between oxygen and hydrogen is always going to exist in a one to two ratio, or two to one, depending on how you're looking at it. So if I have four moles of hydrogen, I need two moles of oxygen to react all of that hydrogen.